Hello everyone. So, this is Rick again, as you all know, and this was my starting video, my starting stats, for p x Round one! Yeah! I weighed in yesterday morning at 181.7. So from last week, that's a loss of 0.2 um, to maintain. It's a whatever. Um, I ate pretty well last week. Not awesome, but I ate pretty well, and I didn't work out except for the fit test. 181.7 is my starting weight for P90X. I will be weighing in at the 30, 60, and 90 day um, spots for the program. At the 90, I will get new pictures done. I will weigh in, obviously, and I will measure everything they want me to measure. I will figure out my body fat percentage my own way. Let's start off with my measurements and my body fat percentage. So, we got here my measurements. Uh, my so after I plugged in all those numbers, my ten websites, I came out to a body fat percentage of nineteen point eight eight percent. So I'm happy with that number, and that is my starting percentage for P ninety X. I'm going to use. I will get a new percentage figured out after the ninety days are over. Now I want to talk to you about my fit test results. I mentioned earlier that I did the fit test on Saturday. So here are my fit test results. Um, this was, like it says, June 5th here, right? Okay, it says June 5th up here. I did eight pull-ups. And the pull-ups are, I did them without touching the floor. I would go ex fully extended arms. And then I'd pull myself up and um, I would rest at the bottom a couple times, close to the end. But I never touched the floor, so I'm I'm very happy with my pull-up number. I'm, I was expecting four. I was I was honestly expecting four, maybe five. I hit eight. I'm like, oh sweet. So I'm very happy with that one. Um, my vertical leap. Um, I got 31 centimeters, which is uh, which is 12 and a quarter inches. Um, difference. My vertical leap from standing to jumping. I then did the push-ups. And I was able to pull out 35 push-ups without resting. Um, I rested for like a second or two at the top at uh, the last couple, but basically, uh, it was that was it. Uh, my toe touch got zero inches, which basically means I touched my toes and didn't go over and one behind my toes. Uh, my wall squat, I'm disappointed with my wall squat number. I only got a minute 30. Um. It's been a while since I've done them, but the last time I actually tried wall squats, like, to see how long to hold it for, I did, like, two and a half, just about three minutes. So, I'm kind of disappointed with my one and a half minute time for that one. Um, that one, I'm going to see big improvements on at the end when I'm done. So. On the bicep curls, I did my 10 reps with a 35 pound weight. Then we did in and outs. And I got 55 of them, and that's without touching the floor. Um, I did rest. I would hold, I would hug my knees and rest. My toes, my my feet were not touching the floor. I was just balancing on my on my tailbone, um, and holding my knees to rest every once in a while. But I never touched the floor in between. Uh, then we did jumping jacks, and the jumping jacks were two minutes. For those of you who don't know, and my starting. Right afterwards, I had 178 beats per minute. After a minute, I had 150 beats per minute. After three minutes, it was 128 beats per minute. And then after four minutes, 121. Uh, the other thing I'd like to talk about is um, my program. I have right here, as you can see, day one is checked off. I am done day one. I did that yesterday. And here's my program. Um, you might be able to tell I've done some substitutions to it. Um, so on Tuesdays, it's supposed to be plyometrics you're supposed to do. I'm doing plyometric cardio circuit. I'm trying to substitute. I'm trying to substitute the workouts, the ones I want to substitute. I'm trying to substitute them very closely. Um, like for example, on Thursdays, you're supposed to do yoga, and we are doing core cardio balance. Um, the substitutions I'm making are from the Insanity program. The substitution we make is instead of Kempo, I can't see myself, but instead of Kempo on Saturdays, we substitute for Pure Cardio. 
Um, one thing that I am getting myself to do during the P9X program, I am making myself track my calories. Um, I'm going to do it my own way. I am writing, I've done day one already. Here's day one. For a total of 2,149 calories. Oh, that was close. 2,184 calories. That was close. So that was yesterday's total. Um, I'm happy with that number. Uh, my goal, I have a goal range of 1,800 to uh, 2,200 calories is where I would like to be in each day. Um, I don't want to go any lower because of how extreme the workouts are, but I don't want to go any higher because I don't want to eat too much. But, you know, um, in my head, it's an average. I want to be between 1,800 and 2,200 over the week. Um, if I'm 2,300 one day, whatever. You know, I don't care. I'm doing my own calculations through numbers that I learned at school. I... We had a chart we had to memorize for school. It listed like um, high fat meats, low fat meats, starches, veggies, fruit, milk, fat, all those other things, all those things. And the chart had how many grams of protein, how many grams of carbs, how many grams of fat, and how many calories were in a serving of each of those things. And we had to memorize that chart for school. And I still have it memorized, so I'm using those because Last, you know, during the school year, I had to track my calories for a week uh, for a school assignment. And then we were supposed to do, you know, do stuff with afterwards. And I tracked my calories, and I, we had to use the uh, Dietitians of Canada website. And I tracked my calories, I put them online, I did all that stuff, and I hated it. It was horrible. And I, the reason is, because I hated trying to find this stuff online. Because you have to go to this website, you punch in what you want, and then you have to pick what's the closest to what you want. Because sometimes you don't have it, so you have to find what's a good substitute for it. Oh, it's just horrible. So I'm going to use this chart, my own rough calculations, calories, and I'm happy with that. I will see you all next week. Bye.